Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to part four of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. We're getting into some valuable insights from this week's guests that you can definitely apply to your own journey. Please definitely stay tuned for advice and inspiration that can help us all. If you missed the first part of the week in part one, two, and three, definitely go back. The show notes should be filled with all the links, so go and click on them if you need to catch up. Also, definitely subscribe to the channel and all the other ones if you can. It's going to really help the show. But for now, enjoy the rest of the story. Can you remember the names of the people that lived in the house? Hey. I'm getting Carol, but I'm thinking that's my Arnie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, my mum's Carol. Well, yeah, your mum's Carol, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing... Okay, I'm getting, like, Phil... Paul. Stop. I'm. Oh my god. Paul. Two. Can I say it, or can I? Or do you want to just keep going for now? I'm. I, it's just taking me like in the vision. So <gasps> you're like, say it while I'm going deeper in there. But there's something about like a window with like a cut, like a cut, and there's a leak. Well, Phil is my mum's partner. Okay, Phil. Uh, and Paul is my mum's partner from before I was born, but he used to take me out every weekend. Because <laughs> 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 I didn't meet my dad till a little bit later on in life, and my, Paul used to take me out every Saturday, like take me to a, a certain area most See, weeks because we like loved it. Checkers ground, like a checkers floor, black and white checkers floor line. Or... I mean, in the olden days, yes, but he's had it redecorated, so it's not that now. But I remember, I don't, I mean, such a long time ago, but those floors, yeah, used to be checkered, like a weird pattern in the kitchen, I think. But there's old, like, eight, you know, the 80s, 90s style. I, but I can't remember, that's not crystal clear, so I can't really vouch for that. But I remember it being something along those lines. But that was Paul's house. Yeah. Yeah. But I've known Paul my whole life. I'm seeing like the <gasps> kitchen, like the kitchen part here. Like you come in in the kitchen part, but it's kind of like the, like, it's not your open kitchen, it's the wall kitchen. And then you go, it kind of goes out to a hallway like that. Like I'm seeing. Split. Is this Paul's house or Phil's house? I don't know. Okay. Because Phil lives in a separate house to my mum. They don't live together. But I know what both houses look like. I can't believe you name, name Phil and Paul, though. <laughs> That's insane. And when you're ready, I've got the picture, by the way. Actually, yeah. Let's see the picture. I'll call my energy back. I'm just going to show the picture of me and the pirate to the to the screen. Oh, my God. Is that what you saw, though? On the left? Um, yeah. I'm on the left, yeah, and Andrew yeah. Buckley's on the right, yeah. So yeah. I'm the one in the, the, um, the... This is me. Yeah, I saw the left. As soon as I was like, oh, I don't see blue, but I saw that. The, the sword, especially the sword, how it's in the pocket, I saw that, and then the buckle. And your blonde hair. I didn't see the eye patch. <sighs> well, you can't tell. I've got blonde hair there, but I did have blonde hair. Blonde hair, yeah. I had I had blonde hair until I was eight, but actually, if you, I've just zoomed up on me. Oh, and you're, I had... wearing a bandan you're wearing a bandana. You can't even tell, but yeah, you have blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's why I said you can't see that I've got blonde hair, but you can on above my ear there, you can see the hair coming out, and I've got blonde hair. You can, yeah, we have blonde hair. <laughs> but I don't have blonde hair. Like, I grew out of it. I know there's more grey now, but um, I have always had... <laughs> I like it, okay. Um, but yeah, no, I've got blonde hair underneath that. But yeah, you you probably thought that was blonde, but you were you were technically right. I do have blonde hair, but yeah, you had very blonde in the vision. I, I well, I, yeah, I've, I've had yeah, I had very blonde hair, but you can't you can only see by me zooming up on that. So there's yeah, no I way know. you would have known. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see the bandana. <sighs> I just saw you with blonde hair. Yeah, yeah, that's because I'm holding it from here. But now I've zoomed up, you can you can crystal see I've got a, a bandana. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And the blacked out teeth. 
So Phil and Paul are your um. So so I saw that's interesting. I saw my car like Carol, my aunt, and I was like, oh, that's my auntie, but it's because her name, like the name. Yeah. So I can see now that the vision showed me that to give me the name, and then I got Paul first, and then Phil. Well, Phil, um, yeah, Paul came first. I've known Paul since. Yeah, Paul. Paul picture. Came- Paul came first and I'm just like, Paul, everyone knows a Paul. And then I was like, I'm going to go with Phil. But then Paul. Well, you, and you name two names, like, straight away. I've yeah, not told you about Phil and Paul. No, it was still strong. So I was like, I'm just going to say them both. <laughs> the Golden Retriever, though, um, in terms of me being a teenager, I only really remember one. Oh, you said Golden Animal. I've just said Golden Retriever. Oh, there was one. Golden Retriever, but it's not in my life directly. It was connected to somebody that I used to go and visit a lot. Mm-hmm. So that, and then you were kind of that house you were naming similar to what the house that they were living in, and the Golden Retriever was attached to that, but wasn't directly with that house. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I don't know if I should tell. I mean, I can tell you unless you want to think about it. I don't know. Well, I was in, I can see the home. I just wish I could get like a, can you, what about a street name? Because you've got the king one. Maybe you can think of the street name. I'm getting W. Sorry, no. White. That's your last name. That's my last name, yeah. <laughs> That's on the screen, everybody. So she can't <laughs> claim that one. <laughs> Oh my god, he's keeping the score. He's just like, yeah, you got that one right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I promise. That one right. I'm doing. I'm. I'm doing that for the viewership. I'm doing that. You've already got me hooked when you got Gene and Pam. So, and now Phil and Paul and the clear pirates one that we've got. So you've. You. I, I'm hooked. You know I am. And the dog. <laughs> and the dog. Yeah. So I'm. I'm just vouching for the the the, the skeptics out there just to make sure. Yeah. Um, I'm being very crystal clear because this is about being authentic. This this podcast, so oh, absolutely, um, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I'm freaking ecstatic. Like the fact that six months ago, if you told me six months ago that I would be able to start channeling information that I could not know, I'd be mm. like, "Fuck yeah!" Like I can't wait. I'm so excited, but I wouldn't believe you. And so to get to a point where, yeah, like it's um all the images and stuff like that come through and I can tell like yeah I can really tell when it comes in because I feel I get in the vortex like it feels like a, it feels like an energy a higher energy and I'm like oh yeah like it kind of comes in I'm just like I'm connected to it and then when I don't feel it I'm like mm. and then mm-hmm. like images start coming through and I'm like am I conjuring those images up or do I need to know what that symbolism is? For example, like my auntie's house came in and I was like, oh, that's my auntie's house. Like, no, why is she coming up? But it's because we they have the same name. And then yeah. that when and then when I said it, because that's it's the domino effect. When I say it, it gives me the next picture and it gives me, it lets me create a fuller picture. Because when I don't say it, so everything started from the pirate, your little pirate costume. So when I was connecting in, even before we jumped on, I saw you with blonde hair in the pirate costume, and um, <clears throat> and I wrote it down. And then mm-hmm. when I was tuning in, and then it was just like, come back to that. That's the first piece. That's the first thread. And that's when I was like, okay, yeah, it's coming back. I'm going to say it. And I'm then, so glad you found the picture because we can prove it on air. Yeah, I know. That's it's amazing. Like- <laughs> I mean, I've dressed up a lot in costumes, right? And I don't know if I've got many my mum's documented them all, but that one is a, a big one, and that's why she was able <laughs> yeah. to find it. Yeah, yeah, it was highly specific. It was um... yeah, it was significant in my life. That was any time yeah. we bring up a costume example to you know my mum, we always refer to that one. So that's that's why it's weird as well. That's why it's awesome. It's so cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. What 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 else do you reckon we can dig into then? Okay. Because this is fun. <laughs> Yeah, I my favorite is describing like homes and um, okay. Well, what could you describe my home here then? Okay, because I've got no pictures online of home, my home. Okay, I'm like getting ready. <laughs> like... 
All my house in England, by the way. Okay. Like, you can go go with whatever. I'm going to, because I did it like with one of my friends, I was like, I want to describe one of your homes. And I described his parents' home to a T, even to like. Well, dis- my friends in England will be able to know what that looks like. So or the one here, my friends in Australia, and anyone's come to see me will know what it looks like. But not many people have been to my new house, so they probably won't know. But people in England definitely will know what the house in England looks like. Have you heard of, just before we go into it, which is mm. what I think this is, when I think about it, remote channeling? Uh, uh, I'm so, new to this, so I have no idea well, what you're talking about. Yeah, of course you'd be new to it. I'm new to it as well. So I'm like, he's <laughs> not going to know it. I've just You did it again. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if anyone's listening, look up remote channeling. But this is why, you know how when people – like the police sometimes call on psychics to uh yeah i have heard of that yeah get evidence and stuff i would love to do that i would love to be able to <sighs> do i think that's your job yeah i know right <laughs> i'd oh, love cool. to do that. i'd love to do something like that even if i play it in a movie that would be good i think there was a movie where someone played a psychic and he ended up um opening the channel and starting to see ghosts i don't know what it was well, called. on on this note, then, do you see yourself? Can you can you visualize your future and what's going to happen? Yes. Yeah. So, can you see? Because I, I know we from the last episode. Obviously, we know that you want to go into acting, acting and, yeah, and stuff like that. Done. Crystal, crystal clear. So, are you going to be in a movie one day? Absolutely, multiple. multiple. Hollywood. Yes, Oscar Award. I can... Premier. I want the premiere. I want to be at the party, so don't even forget about me. <laughs> I want to be there. Called it. I've got evidence. So I'm just, let's just write this and document this right now. Am I allowed, am I invited to your yes. premiere of a movie in Hollywood? Yes. Say it. I want you to say it. Yes, you're invited to my premiere. <laughs> got evidence now. I'm lucky. <laughs> it's all horrible. Everyone heard it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I... so go on. Sorry. Yeah, it's crystal clear. Very yeah, nice. And that's the funny thing. Like when I visualize my future, it's crystal clear. It's like, actually, I am seeing. I'm seeing what I'm going to do. So, Is it crystal clear to you what I'm doing then in the future? Uh, speaking. We, we Did we do this last week? You, or... you did. Well, did no, I... you, in the pre-chat you did. But I want to see if you if anything's changed. So I want you to say it freshly to the, to the audience. Okay. So in the pre-chat, um, I see Andrew speaking doing a lot of speaking on stages like podcasts is still in your future your book a lot of book signing book readings um <clears throat> teaching is not like your current profession you're not doing um but you're in your vocation like you're you're doing what your soul is here to do but you're not in the vehicle right now if that makes sense Makes perfect sense. And you know what's interesting though? Everyone in this life are fulfilling their purpose, but they might not, it might not be in the vehicle that they desire it to be or want it to be. So, in some way, I did this, I, I'm going to have to get it out, but I did this thing where I wrote down when I thought I was in a place where I was not where I wanted to be. And I realized I was living out everything that I said I wanted to do. It just wasn't at the scale, the level, or how I wanted it to look, but I was living it out. Um, Back on the thing of remote channeling, remote channeling, why this has been a hush hush topic. If you go and research it, um, there's an actual documentary on it where because of this reality we we live in and different dimensions that you can connect into and that everything is energy and we're not just matter, um, you people in terms of the intelligence like this is top secret information i don't have my clearance anymore i'm not in the military and i didn't get access to that information um but from what i've heard in the documentary is they would use psychics or people that have the ability to spy on um enemy lines through remote channeling so they close their eyes and they take their awareness and they can actually see like they are, if you look up this TV show called Behind Her Eyes, <clears throat> kind of is a, is a, rep- like represents it. It's like it's an orb or something where you can come in 
And I used to, I used to play World of Warcraft when I was younger. I used to love that game, World of Warcraft. And I would be all like, it's this video game where there's like elves and orcs and humans and Draenei's and aliens and undead, all these things. Um, and I was a hunt, like I was heaps of the different ones, but I was a hunt, I'd play one of the hunters and there was this thing called Eagle Eye. Like you had a, a spell where you, well, or an ability to do Eagle Eye. And so you're there as the hunter and your eagle eye goes up and goes out somewhere else so you can actually have a look at what's over there. And I took, I have been doing that my whole life based on what I saw in World of Warcraft is I will get eagle eye and I'm like, I'll bring my awareness out side or out to the room and I'd see potentially what's really happening there. And I used to just think, oh, cool, I'm doing Eagle Eye like in World of Warcraft, but I would see it. And I remember one time I did this. I was at home. This is when I was at home when I was younger. I was a teenager. And I was just like, that was when I was like, oh, I feel like I'm psychic. I want to do it. And I was sitting in my bed and I was just like connecting to it, connecting to it. And then I did it and I was like, I'm going to visualize outside and I'm going to visualize my mom. Like, and I could see her coming I could see what she was wearing she was wearing and I didn't see her that morning and then she and then I was imagining her there but it's actually because I she was there she was there my brought my awareness there so they do this um remote channeling where they you learn the power and you can actually go and spy on um wow that's amazing intelligence and stuff like that so that's incredible yeah yeah, so that's to, what I have to look into that. That's what I feel like I'm doing when I connect to these homes. It's like my awareness is really going there, if that makes sense. Well, come here then. I'll go to my mum's place. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Is it coming to you? I'm just knocking on a door, this like brown door. Like I had to walk up steps. No. No steps. There's a step, one step to get in the house, but there's no up steps, no. I wonder what it's showing me then. I'm going up. It's like a, it's like a motel. A motel? It's like a motel. Um, like you go up the steps and then... You can go, yeah, steps. There's nothing that way. It's that way. And there's this brown door, and it's got the number 14. <laughs> I mean, there is a connection with 14, but n no motel. What's 14? My mum was born at number 14 on the, on the house opposite of where she lives now. Yeah. I wonder what the motel is. No, got a clue. But yeah, 14. Yeah, I mean, you got pretty close there. So that's connection to my mum. <laughs> Maybe that's taking you to the house where my mum lives now. Is that, have you seen where she lives? Do you know what it looks like? My mum lives. I grew up in the house, yeah. Oh, it's still that home? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We, we still we, live in it. She's been she, in it over 40 years. She grew up in 14. Is that the She one? grew up in 14, then they moved, and then moved back to the street, the same street, but in the house opposite my mum's place. Okay. So from the house, you can stare at the house that my mum was born in, the back room, yeah. Let's see if it comes in. Okay, I'm just going to start getting a picture of the street. I'm looking at a brick home. Yep. Um... I don't know why, I just got the image of, um, oh, what's its name? It's like the blue dog. Bluey? The blue dog. Bluey? Bluey? The show? I think like he's the blue dog and then he has the guy with the green shirt, I think. His owner? No. I don't know what that is. Bluey. 
Bluey. You don't mean the TV, the children's show, Bluey. The <laughs> Australian show, Bluey. <laughs> Bluey. No, not that one. No. Oh, my God. He has, like, the flappy ears. Oh. Famous dog. Yes. It's like a... Pluto. I'm seeing it play on the TV. It's like a... Oh, my God. And he has the... Oh, it's right there. And then his owner has got the green shirt. I bet you the listeners listening to this right now are, like, screaming. <laughs> you know how when you watch, like... Millionaire hot seat or something, and like you're screaming out the end. Well, like it's you're... this or no deal, deal or no deal. Yeah. Well, you have to remember I'm from England. So if the viewers are watching in England and it's an Australian show, we're not going to get it. I don't. Unless it's like Neighbours or Home and Away. No, no, it's not like that. It's, um... Was it an Australian show? I can't remember. I don't know if it was just Australian, but I can see hmm. it. The blue. But it's not play school or anything like that. But I just can saw... you bring it up so we can see it blue on the on on your on your blue phone maybe blue dog cartoon blue dog cartoon oh this one go on this Show one us. what the hell's that this one where's his um blue's clues. I have no idea. You, you're not picturing my house. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. Blue's Clues. <laughs> oh, no. I wonder why that showed me that. No idea. I wonder why. No. Does that home look anything like? <laughs> look like what? My house? <laughs> Maybe not your house or your mom's home or something, but I'm just wondering why it showed me Blue's Clues. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the red, the red chair, the red armchair, and then they have the pink dog, and they have the male. Bo- oh my god, I'm having a full flashback. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you might be pretty, you might be close with some of the furniture furniture there. We did we did have a we did have a bit of a red couch growing up. A red couch. Yeah, but it was um I can't remember we did have I don't know if we had a one. Uh, a one seater like that, but we definitely had a three, and I used to sit on the the right hand side facing the TV. Oh, see, okay, so this is how it works. I might not get the exact picture of exactly what it is, but the spirit shows me, sends me symbolism to be like red yeah. cow. And you did say that at the beginning, yeah. I said blues clues, and I'm just like, okay, why it's showing me this to yeah. give me the picture? So. This is what I'm, this is the fun and like part where I've just got to keep developing on like working out yeah. when they're sending me symbols, when they're sending me an exact picture of what it looks like. But yeah, blues, like I haven't thought of blues clues in so long, but the red couch, it's known for the red couch. Well, we definitely had a red couch because that couch, my mum had a, had somebody throw it out and she wasn't ready to, my mum's a bit freaky like this. She'll laugh when she'll hate that I just said it, but she got rid of it, went to the tip in England and my mum didn't get chance to say goodbye to her. <laughs> so the guy went back and got it from the tip, put it in the garage for a bit longer and it was the red couch. <laughs> I was see, see? Does that not make you go, oh okay. <laughs> and only my mum will can vouch for this part of the conversation. By the way, I'm a partner because she knows about it too. But um, yeah. So what about the house then, if if that's coming through? Well, the Blue's Clues could be specific to that red couch because that was Blue's Clues was the red couch was a big focal point. Mm -hmm. Um, Though I did. And then the brick. Remember I said the brick home on your your street? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can you picture the house and the style of it? Can you picture that? Does that come through to you at all? <laughs> or even the road name? Any any letters that resemble the the name?
B. No B. I think I'm guessing. Um, I can see like a straight sign and it's mm -hmm. like blank. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to like. Remember our street signs are not the same as they are in Australia either. They're not, yeah. They're not the same. And they're not high up unless they're on the side of a brick wall or down a particular side street. But on my street, they're not on any walls. They're attached to the ground yeah. and they come up to your waist. I'd love it if you like just named the street. That would be insane. <laughs> Put you under pressure there though i'm sorry you know um it's like you know that analogy when um when you try and chase something and then it runs away in my street running away from you it's run it's some, there's someone, there's postman's hat running away with that straight name. <laughs> what about, what? You, okay, well, what about my house here then? Because luckily for you, I've got two <laughs> houses to play with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did, I was seeing like a, um, a sh like a, um, the road, um, very narrow. Yep, it is very narrow. And I'm getting like there's a school down the block. Mm, not too far. Not on the block, but there is going to be one on the block because it's a new development, so there is going to be one on the block eventually. But it's not there yet. But my son does go to a school and it's not too far away. Seeing, I'm seeing like a little. Oh, it's changing colors. I'm seeing like a yellow uniform, a blue uniform. <laughs> um, seeing police. Um, police. Why police? They're not coming for my son, are they? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's in big shit if he is. <laughs> He doesn't get in trouble with the police, does he? No. I'm okay, just, good. I'm just seeing I've the I'm seeing the police sign, like a police building. No way. Mm. All right, now mm, there's you're like, no. You're I'm, like, all right, but, stop, stop the recording there. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, there's no. Come on. <laughs> there's no. There's not actually no police station very close to my house. To be fair. Mm. Seeing um, a basketball court. Mm -hmm. Seeing a park. Mm -hmm. The seats facing the road. Yeah, there's some seats facing the road, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing a grey home. Yeah, it's a brick home, but we in Australia they've got they have that weird stuff that goes over the brick. What do you call it? I forget what you call it. Yeah, but it's grey. Like, yeah, it's grey. No, it is grey. And we eventually I want to put like we like the the Hampton style look with the white wood. That's <laughs> what we want. But we're going to put it over that. I forget what the word is that's over the brick. What do you call it? It doesn't go all the way around the house. It's just the front, the facade. But it's grey. Yeah, you got it. You nailed that one. All right, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Seeing like brick fencing. No. I'm seeing... I'm seeing a brick 
tall wall might not be your home but there's like this street light like right near it but it's like black mm. one of the lantern ones I don't know I'm seeing hedges mm -hmm. seeing like a black like gate fence like the ones where you can your arm through like a jail cell no but i do have a black i painted the i did paint the fence like um like a blackish color is uh, so that it complement the green trees that we have in the back garden okay so i am getting symbols but not exact um i'm getting a tree out the back i'm getting a like a portable shed no shed i'm getting a there is next door though it's kind of bit portable like but that's not in my garden mm. getting a wheel like a tire. Hmm. I'm getting like a brick little deck, like not a deck, but like there's a brick on the ground. Um, like the back. Oh, there's mm -hmm. grass. Yeah, there's grass. There's a basketball court. Not a full size one, just a quarter. Um, there's like, it's like two, at the back, at the back, it's like the door, like a screen door mm -hmm. and, um, like two steps up to it, but it's like on a side. I'd say it's one step up to the, to the deck. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's two. So it's like step. And you're up onto the deck from the back garden, which leads to the where, the veranda, which leads into the to the lounge kitchen area. Probably telling you too much there, are. Huh? <laughs> Seem like a window in front of the sink. Seeing like a walk in pantry. We do, yep. Seeing like carpet stairs. We have no stairs. There is carpet stairs in the UK house, though. Okay, I'm seeing something at a front. I'm wondering if this is actually your UK home. The stairs are like near the door, like front door, and there's like yep. a um, there's a like a table, like a table right at the front door. There used to be, but I don't know if there is now. And there's like a big mirror, like a mirror connected to it, and then like a dish, like a dish on it. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know how my mum's got it decorated as, as we speak, but there usually is a mirror at the bottom of the stairs next to the door, yes. Join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you lead your own way. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you then.